Hey guys, Computer Stuff 101 here, also known as TechMech911. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download VMware Fusion 3.1 for Mac uh, completely free. And it'll run and everything, it'll have a valid serial number, whatever activated. It'll be the complete install. Uh, so if you're on Windows, you want the complete opposite of the Mac version, you want the Windows version. So you want to download VMware Workstation. Uh, I'll have a video on that within the next few days, maybe a week or so. Uh, so I'll put a little link in the description, or I will put an annotation linking you to the video right now. So Mac users, continue watching. Alright, so you want to head on over to Safari go to the trusty old pirate bay the pirate bay dot org uh... go ahead and go ahead and type in vmware fusion oh my bad typo three point one go ahead and click enter sort it out by the cedars and you're gonna that you guys will probably first look at the top one and be like oh there it is it's got the most cedars but no that's 3.0. What we want is the 3.1.3. So we'll go ahead and click the second one. Go ahead and click download this torrent. It'll show up in your download section right there. Uh, double click it or single click it for right now uh, if you click it from there and it'll open up in views. Once it's done downloading, it's not that big of a file, only 150 megs. Uh, Mine downloaded in a minute and 17 seconds according to views, but that's because I was downloading it two and a half, me two and a half megs per second. Uh, yours may take maybe like 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, once that's over with, go ahead and uh, open up documents, go to views downloads, and it'll be right here, VMware Fusion 3.1.3. .3. Go ahead and mount the Fusion thing click install VMware Fusion go ahead and hit continue 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 agree now this is where it asks for your serial number go on over to here click on the keygen core keygen it's got some loud music so turn that down <laughs> Uh, go ahead and click generate a few times. Click it as many times as you want. You just want to click it so you know no one else has used it before. So click it as many times as you so please. Alright, this will have to do. Double click it. Go ahead and close out of that. Close out of that. You can unmount that now. And go back on over here. Go ahead and paste that. Continue. Continue. In our user experience improvement program. If you guys are interested in this, you can go ahead and read through this. Blah, blah, blah. Close. Quit text edit. Uh no thank you and make sure it installs on your custom or whatever hard drive you want it to go ahead and hit install it'll start installing and it'll be done here shortly so I'm gonna go ahead and close out all of this stuff go ahead and quit Safari now all we have left is this it's going to be done here in a second, so I'll just come back whenever it's done. Alright guys, it's done now. It took about 30 seconds. Go ahead and close out of it. You can go ahead and unmount it. Eject, whatever. Go on over to your Applications folder, and it should be right here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my dock, because I'm going to be using this a lot. We'll go ahead and put it right there. And yeah, that's it guys. You can open it up 
it does all of its functions correctly, you can go ahead and register or, register or just go ahead and click later. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Hope this helped you guys out. Uh, if this helped you, please subscribe because subscribing helps me out a lot. If you need any, or if you have any questions and need help, go ahead and send me a message or comment. Uh, this has been Computer Stuff 101. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like it. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.